Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves, well, dealing with Sean Paul Reyes once again, as he is now running from the law due to his own stupidity. Yeah, that incident the other day at the commissioner's house where he was harassing his wife, well, that was just a bit too far, and, uh... Well, you just can't go up to somebody's house and start making accusations like that. And, uh, well, he's paying the price now. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show of stupidity here. Warning. If you care about our freedom and our rights, the footage you are about to watch is very disturbing. Oh, I care about our freedoms and rights. I just found this... The video very hilarious, considering that you are now experiencing the fallout from your own actions. The consequences. Karma is a bitch, isn't it, dude? So enjoy it while it lasts. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Fellow patriots and freedom lovers, I have never seen this level of tyranny and corruption before. This video will shock you. As you watch this video, I want you to keep in mind that this did not take place in a country like Venezuela or North Korea. This is happening in Nassau County, New York, in the United States of America, our country. On Friday, September 22nd, the Nassau County 3rd Precinct Detective Squad let my attorney Jacob Uriel know that they issued a warrant for my arrest and wanted me to surrender. My attorney informed the detectives that Judge Norman Samet had signed eight stay away protective orders, petitioned to the court by the district attorney and Donnelly's office. Two of the protective orders were against Nassau County police officers, one of which was Kenneth Keller, the same officer who unlawfully arrested me. You keep saying unlawfully arrested, yet every arrest is lawful. I mean, even though you've won a couple of your court cases, you still were lawfully arrested because, well, you were trespassing on property and everything else like that. When I know you don't believe in trespassing laws. You uh, are just like any other frauditor, but trespassing laws do exist, and you just don't care about them. Stole my camera equipment and violated my constitutional rights. The judge ordered that I must stay away from their place of business which is the Nassau County Police Department. So legally, I cannot go there for any reason whatsoever. My attorney is also on vacation out of the country, and I had already informed the court that I was going to be on vacation with my family as well. My attorney suggested we set something up for after we both get back from vacation and after we get the judge to modify the protective order for me to be able to legally go to the police department. Later that same day, Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder, who I am currently investigating for corruption and abuse of power allegations, ordered 15 plainclothes Nassau County police detectives in unmarked vehicles to cross into Suffolk County to arrest me on a retaliatory warrant. Oh, retaliation. So just because you go out of your way to commit a crime to uh, investigate out alleged corruption within a police department, that means it's retaliation. Dude, you committed some crimes out there and you get arrested for them. They are within the rights, their rights to arrest you for any crime that you committed, especially if you go up to a house unsolicited and start badgering the man's wife over this whole thing because you claim that you have evidence against him. Well, if you have that evidence presented to the courts rather than uh, breaking the laws and stalking people, you dumbass. My attorney and I haven't seen the warrant, but we were told that it was for criminal trespassing in the third degree, a misdemeanor. Apparently, they are charging me for when I went back to the Department of Social Services and I wasn't overtly recording. During this visit, I spoke to a couple of Nassau County officers and public servants. No one asked me to stop recording. No one asked me to leave the premises. And frankly, no one seemed to have any issue whatsoever with me being there. This warrant is completely fabricated. Oh, fabricated, just like these allegations that you have against the commissioner. Like I said before, if you have these... Uh 
the proof of this uh, corruption, why don't you just go ahead and present it to the proper authorities who can do something about it? Because if you can do that, then, well, you've exposed the corruption. If you can't do that because you don't have the actual evidence, that makes you a freaking liar. And I'm willing to bet that that is the case because you have lied your ass off so much, you lack credibility all across the board. I will leave a link in the description below to the video of the incident in question so you can see for yourselves how Supreme Leader Ryder was able to get a district attorney and a judge to sign off on this is terrifying. I would guess it's the same judge who granted the stay away protective orders against me for peacefully recording and asking questions of my government, Judge Norman Samet. As soon as I get the actual warrant, I will share it with all of you. While Gestapo writers secret police. Ah, Godwin's law. You've gone for the reducio ad hitherum argument. If you have to use that in any of your videos, then you have already lost the argument, dude. Because this is not Nazi Germany, dude. If you had been living in Nazi Germany, you would have already been well sent to the camps. And you would have never been heard from again were looking for me in another county on a low-level, non-violent misdemeanor warrant. They unlawfully stopped my tenant while he was driving, demanded his ID under threat of arrest, and told him, quote, he wasn't the person they were looking for. Two days later, I was driving home from 7-Eleven, and as I made the turn onto my street, a dark color sedan tried to run me off the road. <laughs> Do you have video of this dude? Because, well, your video camera is always running. So if you're not going to provide that bit of evidence for your little story, I'm willing to bet that, yeah, it's a bunch of BS too. So you're just creating this narrative to make yourself look like the innocent victim in all this, which is a bunch of BS to begin with. I instinctively avoided the crash and continued home. When I looked back, I saw the sedan, who almost crashed into me, turning around rapidly toward me. I began to worry for my safety and the safety of my family, so I parked my car and ran inside the house to alert them of the incoming danger. Warning, if you care about our freedom and our rights, the footage you are about to watch is very disturbing. After the unidentified man spoke to his accomplice, they both drove away. Approximately an hour later, several law enforcement officers were outside of my home. Nassau County officers were in plain clothes and unmarked vehicles. Suffolk County officers were in their uniforms and marked vehicles. Five law enforcement officers came to my front door, but unfortunately for Emperor Patrick Ryder, I had already left on a pre-planned family vacation.
My name is Sergeant Grillo at the Nassau County Police Department. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Paul Reyes. He has a warrant for his arrest. I want you all, my fellow patriots, to know that as of now, I am safe from these corrupt tyrants. Sources tell me that ever since I started exposing Commissioner Ryder, he has been banging the drum internally to have me arrested for anything in order to get me to stop investigating and to retaliate against me. Ryder wanted me arrested immediately, so I would have to spend the entire weekend in his prison camp until I could see a judge Monday morning. This thug mentality coming from the leader of a police department should terrify all of us. A journalist is being hunted down by men with guns for asking important questions regarding serious corruption and abuse of power allegations. Let that sink in. Yeah, let's let all this sink in, Sean. I mean, you went over to a, a police commissioner's house to harass his wife. You didn't go to the commissioner himself because, well, let me tell you something. You went there in the middle of the freaking day to uh, harass his wife. Do you know where the commissioner would be at at that particular time? At work. So you didn't go over there to uh, talk to the commissioner. You went over there to send a message. You went over there because you are a criminal thug yourself. You were there to cause some issues. If uh, the police hadn't showed up, yeah, I'm sure there would have been some other issues that would have popped up with you because, well, that's what you are. You wanted to harass somebody in this particular case, and you just happened to go in the middle of the daytime when the house was would have been unprotected by him because you are a freaking coward. And all these accusations that you have are nothing more than that. Accusations, because if you had actually had any evidence of it, then you would have already turned it into the proper authorities for it to be investigated, because that is what counts. You can expose whatever you have, but until it goes through the actual courts, you have nothing. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.